Hey guys, Seth Cole here of the Ancient Sports Channel with a tutorial video. Uh, so today what we're going to do is, I was requested this specifically by Blake Warren, but I figured that I would make the video public and available for anybody that has this specific question. So today what we're going to do is we're going to learn how to compress a car file. Uh, because for a lot of people that race online, if you have a car file that is like really, really big, above 4 megabytes, then usually when other drivers get around your car, it either can, if they have bad internet, it can cause them to start warping, or it can end up causing their game to crash if you end up crashing or something. You know, there's a lot of different things that actually can happen uh, if the car file is at an enormous size. So... The first thing you got to do is you got to get the program that's going to help you condense that car down. And that program is this, WinMIP2. I'll put the link to it in the description. It's on uh, nr2k3.weebly.com. Uh, you can just download it, and it's actually very easy to install as well. So what we're going to do is we're first off going to uh, bring up WinMIP. And a thing that you want to do is, you know... Obviously, you want to make the car file smaller, but you don't want to lose the quality of the car itself. Uh, if you make it too small, sometimes, you know, you can end up having it look pixelated. And, you know, a lot of people that do painting of cars, they take pride in the fact of how good it looks. And so you want to make sure that it still looks good. So we're going to take a car that I actually did. I don't even know how this happened, but this was a car that I painted for Cody. And somehow it managed to be 10 megabytes in size. That is huge. Uh, that's, you know, you can look here at, at some of these other cars that were submitted to, uh, the series that I run, Icebreakers Online series, and you see two megabytes, two megabytes, three megabytes, there's one that's even one megabyte, uh, you know, five megabytes here, that's, that's not too bad, but, I mean, ten megabytes, holy cow, how in the world did that happen, and that was a car that I painted, so I apparently did not condense that one down, so I'm gonna do that right now. So as it's downloaded, it was 10.4 megabytes. So when you are uh, condensing the card down, your goal is going to be to try and get it at least below 4 megabytes if possible. Uh, if you can't get it down that low, then, you know, if you can get it somewhere between 4 to 5 megabytes maximum, that's not too bad. So if we look here uh, in our downloads, let's find that car. There it is, 48 Cobalt Dirt Cup Car. It's 10.3 megabytes. Now, you're going to want to have this file either in one of two places, either here in your downloads or in documents, because those are usually the two places where WinMIP will actually read it. So, when we go to WinMIP here, we're going to go to uh, Extras, and then choose Enter 2003 Car File Editor. Then we're going to look into the downloads, and we're going to find the car. Double-click on it and it should load up here in WinMIP. So there's a couple of things that you can do. Uh, I'm going to show you the first thing, and sometimes it's not always going to work out. Uh, there have been times that I've done this particular procedure, and it only brings it down by maybe about 2 megabytes. So you can see right now the settings on it, and you can see it's at 24-bit, and it's TGA. The first thing you want to do is you want to turn both of these to 24-bit compressed. All right, that's going to actually compress your thing down. It's going to keep it still at 24-bit, though, so it will help keep the quality of the car. Right here, you can see that this is a scale of 1 to 10 underneath. Right now, they're both set to 8. Usually, you want to have it either at 6 or 7. 6 is the lowest you probably want to put it. Usually, it's average 7. Now, if we're lucky, this will end up putting it down low enough, but we'll take a look. Let's hit Save. And we're going to overwrite the current car. All right, it is saved. Let's go back to downloads. All right, so let's see. From 10.4 megabytes, let's see what it has gone to now. And there you see down at the bottom, 3.33 megabytes. We've actually gotten it under 4 megabytes now. It's at 24-bit compressed. 
We put the quality down just a little bit, but the quality of the car will still look the same. And we took a car that was 10 megabytes in size and put it under 4 megabytes. So that's actually the easiest thing you can do. Now, if it ends up being that your car does not compress down below 4 megabytes with what I showed you, the other thing you can try doing is maybe bringing the uh, scale down to 5. But you really shouldn't have to. You could try 7, and if that doesn't work, then put it down to 6. Generally, if you put it down to 6 on these two scales, it's going to work. But you can see right there, easily, very easily, we were able to, with just basically four steps there, putting it to compressed and moving the scale down to 6, we took a car that was 10 megabytes in size, and we put it down to less than 4, which was the goal. Anywhere under 4 is usually going to be perfectly fine for drivers racing around you, and your car keeps its quality. So that's basically it. Hope this helps you, Blake, and hope this helps anybody else that has been having trouble with compressing their car files. Other than that, I will see you guys later. Bye.